how green is your internet? Every second of online video we watch puts 0.2 grams of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Doesn't sound like much, except that every day, YouTube viewers get through 2 billion videos. At a conservative average of 10 seconds each, that's around 4,000 tonnes of CO2. Earth's 44 million computer servers contribute almost 2% of the planet's carbon emissions. That's about the same as the aviation industry or a medium-sized country. Server farms, also known as data centres, consume more than 130 billion kilowatt hours a year, using almost as much energy to cool servers as to power them. Last month, Greenpeace released a report called How Dirty Is Your Data? which concluded that the tech industry's brownest companies are Apple and Facebook, whose centres rely on coal-based electricity more than those of their rivals. The report ranked Yahoo and Google as the greenest. The big tech companies are concerned about their carbon footprint. The less electricity they burn, the lower their bills. Google and Facebook take up around 10% each of the world's service space. Facebook's newest data centre relies heavily on coal, but is also mixing in wind and solar. Custom built, it can conserve 2.5 million kilowatt hours a year, saving 1,065 tonnes of carbon dioxide. Google's goal is to become carbon neutral. It has created Google Energy, a company that invests in renewable startups pumping more than $100 million into wind farms, $350 million into solar, and $20 million into Mark and I Power, a company that generates electricity by flying kites, tapping into wind currents at altitudes wind turbines can't reach. But here's the question. With only a quarter of the world's population online and our current internet use set to quadruple by 2014, there's a good chance any progress made with greening data centres will ultimately be swallowed up by our own appetite for all things digital.